Earlier this morning, beloved former Met Rusty Staub passed away at the age of 73. Le Grand Orange was a six-time All-Star and Mets Hall of Famer whose major league career spanned five teams and 23 seasons. Born in New Orleans, Daniel Joseph Staub became an iconic New Yorker in his adopted hometown. Staub was a champion for those in need, especially our local heroes, with his founding of the New York Police and Fire Widows and Children's Benefit Fund. Rusty's impact on and off the field will be felt by generations of New Yorkers for years to come. In Rusty's spirit, we pause to honor our city's brave first responders and military personnel who put themselves in harm's way every day to keep us safe. New York City firefighters Christopher Raguso and Christopher Zanatis continued their careers of service in the military and tragically lost their lives in a helicopter crash in Iraq earlier this month. And most recently, FDNY firefighter Michael R. Davidson of Engine Company 69, the 15-year department veteran, was killed last week while valiantly battling a fire in Harlem. Please join us for a moment of silence in their memory. Thank you. Well, it was certainly a somber way to begin an opening day today with the news that Rusty Staub had passed away just a few days shy of his 74th birthday. Rusty was such an iconic figure in this town and in so many towns. A magnetic personality, a wonderful, wonderful baseball player, but more than anything else, a charitable human being who did his best to help so many lives. As Brandon Nimmo drives one of the gap in left center, run down by Tommy Pham for the first out. And you know, you guys knew him as a teammate and, yeah. and as a friend. And um, Met fans will certainly always remember Rusty, the player, and Rusty, the humanitarian. But he was just such an incredible figure. You know, it, it was a very hard day. I mean, uh, starting this morning, I, I saw my text go off at 550. I was up this morning when you sent it to all of us, Keith. And, um, you know, we knew how sick Rusty was, um, but you just don't think an athlete's going to pass away. He's just the, he's immortal to us anyways. And and um, I don't know. I, it, it's hard. There's so many memories that I have of Rusty. And. I was saying to some people today, I learned more about life and how to be a person and be charitable as a ball player uh, from Rusty than anyone else. He just, um, you know, he gets overshadowed because he's done so much good things, so many good things, but you forget how great of a ball player he was. And, I, you know, you tend to remember Rusty as the great pinch hitter uh, in his latter part of his career uh, in New York. He was a terrific player, uh, I believe. Over 2,800 hits, 20, uh, over 2,800 hits, I believe. He made the choice to stay in New York with his restaurant because he loved New York. <laughs> he could have gone on to the American League in DH and got 3,000 hits easily and been in the Hall of Fame. But he chose New York, and he not only chose New York, he chose it not just for his own self and his restaurant, for his charitable work, mm -hmm. which is just over and beyond what he did. He's a true New Yorker. His uh, Catholic charities were over a million, several million of meals served to the homeless and the destitute, as well as his work with, uh, everybody knows, the uh, widows and orphans, uh, first responders, the firefighters, and police officers. And when it was an overload after 9-11, he answered the bell. Mm -hmm. He's just an extraordinary man. Yeah, yeah, I think that really is worth saying because he started that organization many years. 1984. Before. Right, and and post 9/11 assessment of strikes out for the second out, the task became tenfold greater um, with all of the first responders whose families were in need post 9/11, and it would have been really easy to drop the ball, but he. He just redoubled his efforts, and it was it was phenomenal to, to watch. You know, for you for you folks, uh, you know, before the game, we always sit at the in the cafeteria here, press dining, and, and and eat together. And one of the joys is when Rusty's in town for a week or the homestand, and he sits with us. And if you are in that 
at that table it ends up being a frolicking affair with with laughs and giggles because no one could giggle like Rusty. I mean he was six five he was you know 250 pounds but he could giggle like a like a child. And you know when you get older too and there's a generation gap when you're 40 and you're playing with 20 year olds it, it's hard to bridge that gap and and Rusty did uh, late in his career when he was off the bench and with all the young players that came up that formed our great a 1980s team. Jay Bruce shoots one out to left Ozuna back under the warning track and that retires the side. So the first one two three inning for Carlos Martinez as we celebrate the life of the wonderful Rusty Stoff.